a shalom, giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Wadush. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. I'd like to say shalom. All right, this is uh, another MOTB news update. This morning, I woke up to this article here. It says Neuralink implanted a second trial patient with brain chip. All right, see this MOTB. This is the MOTB. This is RFID microchip, man. Okay, our apostles and elders been speaking about it for for years, decades. Okay, and we're gonna continue to speak about it because this is what's coming, man. So there's some. Uh, you know, key takeaways from this article I was reading. Um, and and it's, it's going into pretty much those miracles, man. Those miracles in the sight of the beast. It says, Neuralink successfully implants device in second patient. And you remember what happened to those monkeys and, you know, all the time that it took to get to this point. Then they said they got eight more lined up. Elon Musk expects Neuralink to provide implants to eight more patients this year as part of clinical trials with positive results seen in the second patient. See, so they're moving ahead with their plans, man. And it's not only Neuralink, okay? And then there was a video. Um, a brother was speaking about how, you know, all these robots, you know, I wish I could find that video. Maybe I can... Maybe I can pause it and put that video in here. Um, but, I mean, you know, I just seen another article with the, in regards to uh, the technology that's going to power the, the semis, the, 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 the semis, uh, the, the driverless, you know, humanless semis, man. Okay, on the highway, and they're putting, them, putting in uh, technology to power those, man. So the jobs, all your jobs, man, you know, they're going to be taken over by these computers. You can tell, okay, about 15 years ago, was it? Not even that. 10 years ago, they started implementing those computers inside of the restaurants, man. All right. Now, you don't have to go to the, the counter and order. You can order on a computer at home and get it, or you can order it, um, you know, right there. In the beginning, when you walk in the door. Okay, so this is this is those miracles, man. And it's going to take a lot of jobs. It's ultimately going to lead to that chip. This is the book of Revelation. And I want to go to that. I wrote a few notes. And let's start off with Revelation 13 real quick. Oh, yeah. And there's another thing. Look at that other article right here. Look at that other article. NFL begins implementing facial authentication across all stadiums. So it's coming down, man. This technology, this technocracy, if you will, is a uh, it's 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 starting to show its head, man. Those miracles inside of the beast, man. All right, and people are gonna eat it up, not knowing that it's a trap for them, man. Okay, no more privacy, no more nothing. All right, these devils, uh, they accomplish a diligent search. They know what they're doing, man. Okay. And people are being deceived. So this is the book of Revelations. Chapter 13. And we'll start here. At 13, and he doeth great wonders that he make a fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of man. And that's basically going into this damn devil Edomite, you know, they, they created, you know, the Lord created the smith, the bluff and the, the coals and the fire. Okay. And he gave them the ideas to put these atoms together and create these bombs, man. Okay. That's that fire coming down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. Okay. Hiroshima, um, different situations like that. Right. That made the whole world scared of America. They was they were scared. Okay. Of that whore. 
All right. But now everybody else got bombs, man. And everybody's got their bombs pointed towards America, man. So verse 14, and deceiveth them that dwell upon earth by means of those miracles, man. All right. And this is one of those miracles. This is one of the miracles, man. Okay. It says, Neuralink successfully implements device and second patient to help paralyzed individuals use digital devices through thought alone. So if you paralyze, you can play the video games. You can, um, you can participate in these activities in which the rest of the world is participating in. And, and in, that's a miracle, man. But it's also deception. So they'll bring it in like this, but they're really going to want to put it in your body, man. Okay? And deceiveth them that dwell upon the earth by means of those miracles. Now let's go into this word deceiveth. Right? And let's go into the word miracles here. Deceiveth. So it's Strong's 4105 in the Greek. Strong's G, 4105, Planao. Planao. Planao, to cause to stray, to lead astray, lead aside from the right way. That's right, man. Because the scriptures clearly tell us not to take that thing, man. Then you got these other camps, IUIC, uh, Wi-Fi, different, different camps, man, that teach against what our elders and apostles teach that it is. And it is the RFID microchip. It is. You can see it, man. It's it's quite obvious at this point, man. And it's leading you away from the Lord. All right? To go astray, to wander, roam about. To lead away from truth. To lead away from the truth, man. To lead away from the truth. And that's what these camps are doing. They're leading you away because... They took that 501c3 bag. It's, it's the MOTB, man. The RFID is the MOTB, man. All right? To go astray. It says, to severe or follow away from the truth. That's right, man. To be led away into error and sin. And a lot of you guys, you're going to have blood on your hands, man, for, for teaching this. The wrong way. It's clearly the it's clearly the RFID. It's clearly the RFID. That's why they protect in Taiwan. They got the chips. That's why they're bringing forth this Chips Act. Biden signed the Chips Act. Okay. So yeah, man. So a lot of people are going to be deceived by this, man. By deceived. By those means of those miracles. Let's go into that word miracles real quick. Strong's G, 4592, Semayon. 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 A sign, a mark, token. That by which a person or thing is distinguished from others and is known, a sign, a prodigy, portent, i.e., Example, an usual, unusual occurrence. Yeah, that's an unusual occurrence to make somebody that's uh, blind or somebody that's paralyzed or somebody that, you know, can't walk or not uh, or just certain uh, disabilities that uh, certain individuals are born with. man. OK, they're basically trying to play Yahweh Shai. OK, trying to play the savior. That's why in the book of uh, 2 Thessalonians, uh, uh, matter of fact, let me pull that real quick. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called power, man. That's what they do. Let me finish this. It says, of miracles and wonders by which the Most High authenticates by men sent by him. And, and, and this is what it is, pr pretty much the the wicked prophets, man. The, the, the prophets on the left-hand side. Okay? The prophets of uh, Baal. 
Baphomet. That's what they worship, man. That's what they represent. Bohemian Grove type of shit. Okay, then you got the prophets on the on the right hand side, man, which are the elders and apostles uh, of Great Millstone. Okay, and the prophets that were before them. Okay. It says, or by which men prove that the cause they are pleading is God's. And that's how they're going to use it. They, well, you know, this is going to help you. Like, uh, what's that dude's Noah Harari? He say, uh, we don't need God anymore. We can, we can create our own water. We can, if there was a drought, we can, we can figure it out pretty much. We don't need the most high. Let me go to that second Thessalonians real quick. Because this is very important, man. Yeah, man. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3 through 4. And it says, let no man deceive you by any means. Deceive. That word deceive again. Lead you away. For that day should not come except there come a fallen away first. And that man of sin, that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. We talking about, we talking about Esau, Edom. That man of sin, okay? The so-called white man, okay? The wicked elites at the very top, all right, that are controlling this thing, man. The, the scriptures clearly tell you that earth is given into the hand of the wicked in the book of Job, chapter 9 and 24. So the son of perdition, that's Esau, Edom, the so-called white man that, 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 that are performing these miracles in the sight of men that men may think, oh, well, the Most High gave them the knowledge, so so this is what we're supposed to do. But they don't know the scriptures. They're not the elect. You know, a bunch of people are going to go down that direction, man, and be led down that direction. And, and a bunch of, bunch of these camps are being paid off to teach our people to lead the sheep astray, man. It says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called power, and that's what he does. No, Harari, we don't need God anymore. The WEF, uh, we don't need, uh, you know, they're pushing uh, all types of weird things in the earth, man. Man with man and woman with woman. This is their beast system. This is all a part of that system, man. All right? Or that is worship. So that he as power sitteth in the temple of power, showing himself that he is the most high. And by doing things like this, they showing themselves that they are the most high, man. Yeah, how about some shot? Okay, if they're able to get these things off and have people uh deceived into taking these things, like they're doing already in Sweden or Switzerland or different places. You know, certain work sites have it already you know you even at my work site I, it says uh there's machines that you can get stuff out of and it says rfid swipe it has a hand swipe on it so they're pretty much forecasting like nobody at my job has one of those i can i, I don't think so but it's on the machines already you see what i'm saying so going back to revelations 13 and 14 and deceiveth them that dwell on earth by the means of those miracles man those miracles let me look up miracles in the regular yeah we pretty much got it by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword and did live. Talking about um, ancient Rome, man. And Rome is living again through America. All right? Rome is living again through America. That image of the beast, okay? That's, 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 their, that's their new government, man. That's their NWO, the new world order that they're pushing. Charles Schwab and all these other guys, man. Who, who elected any of these guys to make decisions? Bill Gates. Okay. You got BlackRock and Vanguard in the background. 
funding everything, secret governments, federal reserves, and all types of stuff, man. Uh, deep state, whatever you, whatever they, they keep on talking about, man. It's real. It's all real. And these devils are trying to, you know, feed you being idle with things offered onto idols, man. It says first patient with implant able to play video games, browse internet, post social media, and move cursor on a laptop, okay, without even touching it. So that's 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 what's going on in the earth, man. Verse 15, Revelation 13 and 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast so that new world order can speak, man. That the image of the beast should both speak. That's how it's speaking. They're giving life to the image. Oh, now we can implant our kids so the kids can, we can always know where they are. They'll use stuff like that. You see, you can implant the criminals so we can always know that they are. They had a video the other day talking about instead of they got this new technology that will make you do a 20 year bid in like uh, five minutes inside of some kind of machine that will rewire your brain to make it make you a better person. man. So those are all a part of these miracles, man. And he had power to give life onto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and that cause as many as would not worship the in image of the beast should be killed. That's right. So if you're not a part of this new world order, you're not a part of this thing, then they're going to take you out, man. And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. And he calls of all this is this. This is talking about the whole the whole world, man. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So no matter if you're in jail or anything, man, no matter if you're a little kid to an old ass lady, to receive a mark, a karagma in their right hands or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you're not going to be able to do anything. Basically, a, a digital... Uh, uh, you, you'll be you'll be cast out, man. Uh, pilgrims. That's why the scriptures tell you, Second uh, Edges chapter sixteen and forty. Matter of fact, let me pull that real quick. I got a few more scriptures too, and then I'm gonna close it out. It's going too. This is basic, man. You know, go straight to it. You know, Lord willing, the message is edifying because, like, they really gonna do this, man. They really gonna do this. Okay, and you gotta we gotta prepare our minds for this thing, man. That's why it's extremely important uh to get the right word, the right doctrine, man, the the, the right comfort. Okay, from our apostles and elders, man. This it is the MOTB. The RFID chip is what Revelation 13 and 16 is talking about, man. Second Edges 16 and 40. Oh, my people hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. Because guess what? You got a battle coming up. That hour of temptation is coming. The enemy going to come in like a flood. That's coming. Jacob's trouble is coming. And World War Three is coming. But before World War Three comes, okay, we know Iran president or one of their guys, you know, they keep getting taken out. They just vowed revenge on Israel for taking out one of the uh, Hamas leaders. Uh, you know, a bunch of people ready to go over there, man. But it's not going to happen like the elders and apostles say until that MOTB is fully implemented, man. And it's right around the corner. It's knocking at the door. So it's, oh, my people, hear my word. How do you hear the word? From the prophets, man. They're constantly out there uh, on, the, on the highways and the hedges in the streets, man. Uh, 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 screaming to the top of their lungs, trying to, trying to get you to understand what's about to happen, man. And on the internet, doing epistle after epistle after epistle, man, all day from the morning until night, to the from the night until the morning, man, all day, all across the globe. Okay, make you ready to thy battle. Yeah, Jacob's trouble. And then those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. That's right, man. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. Yeah, see? 
and he that buyeth as one that will lose. Okay. Yeah, you, you you know you're not gonna you're not gonna succeed in this system, man. If you're a man of the Lord, you you, you might as well just get ready to be a pilgrim, man. He that occupieth merchandise as he that have no profit by it, and he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. That's right. He that soweth as if he shall not reap. So also he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes thereof, man. They that be merry as they that shall get no children. And they that marry not as the widows. And therefore they that labor, labor in vain. And this is what we're about to see. We're we, we going into this, you know, time where people like, you know, ain't nobody trying to have no babies or anything, man. Yeah, it, it's over with. It's over. O-V. The next thing is this chip. Okay, they're going to bring it in, man. We're going to that word mark. Like we always do. That's why the blue letter is so key. So that word mark. Strong G, 5480. Haragma. Haragma. Hag, haragma. Haragma. It says a stamp, an imprinted mark, a mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand of the badge of the followers of the anti. Okay. It says, uh, the mark branded upon horses, thin carved, sculptured, graven, graven, graven work. So it says thin carved, that means it takes action. He had to carve. Go into this root word right here. The root word, which is Karox. All right. Strong's G, 5482. Harax. Harax. That's pretty much, you know, through the needle. It says a pale or stake, a palisade, a rampart, pales between which earth, stones, trees. Basically, the things that you put up a tent with, man. You got to stick it into the ground. You got to make it sharp. Stick it to the ground. Well, that's talking about the the, 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 the needles uh, going into under under your under your skin, man. Timbers. Are heaped and packed together. It says, uh, uh, from Carrasso to sharpen, to sharpen to a point. You got to think about, you get, hey, like I just said, man, they're going to stick it in your skin. It says, through the idea of scratching a stake, a stake, a stake. Yep. So, yeah. And that's going to be the instrument used to put the karagma in you. And let's go to the root word of this. Karax, right? It says grapho. Strong G, 1125. Grapho. 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 It says to write. Because they want to write on you. They want to... All your data, they already buying your data up you know you you go around and you just speak something you know all of a sudden you, you speak about you need a new battery or you know th those ads they're listening to you so hard taking your data those ads will pop up and they'll be catering to the things that you speak the things that you're watching the things that you, you're doing ads popping up all day because they're watching you all day man collecting your data collecting your information all day, every day, and selling it to one another. All right, this is what they do. It says to delineate or form letters on a tablet, parchment, paper, other materials. The point is down here. It says to commit to writing things not to be forgotten. To commit to writing things not to be forgotten. Now, if they can write all your records, your dental records, your hospital records, and things like that, all that's going to be on the chip. Your driver's license, everything like that. The uh, how do you get into work? Your work history ain't no such thing as turn to turn a resume in anymore. It'll be on your chip. Your blood type, everything, everything will be on the chip. 
things not to be forgotten. They'll use excuses like, well, you can lose a wallet. You can lose a, 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 a swipe card or, a, you know, they're already, they're already, this technology is already going forth, man. So this is why we're so fervent on pushing this, man. Because they're trying to play the most high. They they want to put that chip in you, man. They want to get you. Going back to 2 Thessalonians, I, I don't think I finished what I needed to finish there. Yeah, this is... uh, Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, 2 Thessalonians. Chapter 2 and 7 for the mystery. Let me see. Yeah, let me go back to 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of Yahweh, showing himself that he is Yahweh. And what is, it, what is this temple? The Lord said he's going to dwell in us. He's trying to search for the elect, man. This is his plan to get the birthright back through these chips, man. So our temple, our bodies, the Lord dwells in us. If he's able to plant that chip in you, that's why the book of Revelation says, let's go back. And I had some scripts. Let me see. Yeah, let's go to Revelations 14. <clears throat> this is uh, Revelations 14. <clears throat> yep. And the third angel, verse 9. Uh, doom for worshipers of the beast. All right. See, it's, it's, it's being clear out there. We're, we're warning you and making it clear so that you know whenever this thing comes out. All right, the prophets, they were speaking about this. They were speaking about this, man. They were talking about this. So many people just in your regular life, you're constantly warning people about this chip. It'll be out of nowhere. You'd be at the store or you'd be this, that, and the other. You, you'd be you know, doing different transactions and you, you'll talk to the customer or the, the people or the counter or whatever it is. You, you'll speak about the chip because it's just in us to speak about it, man. Then you're out there on the highways and the hedges speaking about it, man, because it's coming. And it's a very serious man. Revelations 14 and 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark, his karagma, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Yeah, you're going to meet those missiles. You're going to, you're going to get those missiles, man. You're going, to, you're going to get those missiles, man. All right? That's 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 what's going to happen, man. You know? Because that's why we warn you, man. That's why the book of Ezekiel... Thirty-three states. It says a watchman's duty. Now people get mad because we keep on bringing out these lessons about the MOTB, but let them get mad. It is what it is, man. The Lord is very, you know, repetitive with the things that He wants done. How, how He how He wants this thing to work, man. All right, in His orders, and His judgment, man. And he doesn't change. All right. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Ezekiel 33 and 1. Again, the word of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, came to me saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people in the land take a man for their coast and set him for their watchman. See, the Lord's bringing the sword, man. Verse three, if when he see the sword come upon the land, see, this is a sword. This is, that's why we're telling you fervently, this is a sword. This is this, yo, 
It's the it's the Lord's mark of the beast, man. He said it, man. He's going to bring this up on the whole land, the hour of temptation, man. It says, if when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet. And that's what we're doing, blowing the trumpet. And warn the people, then who us, whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take of not warning. So if you don't listen that this is the MOTB, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own heads. Because why? The prophets gave the warning. The watchman gave the warning. Verse five, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning his because he wanted to play. OK, just like in the days of uh, Noah, man. You know, we ain't never seen no water. We ain't never seen no rain come down from heaven. See, that's what we're doing these days. We're blowing the trumpet on these things, just like in the days of Lot. OK, when his, his wife and, you know, their kids and their kids, husbands or whatever, those guys, are, they, they were they were mocking like, yeah, man, we, we ain't leaving, man. You know, we don't believe you. And that's how people are today. They don't believe us. They don't believe that this MOTB is right around the corner. They don't believe that Jacob's trouble is going to happen. They can see the seasons changes. They can see everything happening, but they can't see that this place is about to be destroyed. Verse five, he heard the trumpet, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. Yeah, this is how your people are going to be. As in the days of Noah, man, you didn't, you did you heard what the prophet was speaking, but you didn't take heed. That's why the Lord said a wicked and adulterous of generation seeketh after a sign, but there shall no sign be given to him, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And, and, and they see it every single day. You see us out there. You hear something, you know something's different, you know there's something happening, but you just can't get it. But he that take of warning shall deliver his soul. That's right. So if you take warning to this sound of this trumpet being blown, then you're going to deliver your soul, man. Okay, that means that you are part of the elect. I had a few more scriptures, but that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll go into this another time. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, I'll go, I, I'll hit a few more. I'll hit a few more real quick. Yeah, Revelations chapter uh, 3 and 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And that's right, man. That's what's coming. That's what's coming down the line, man. Sorry, this lesson is going so long. The hour of temptation is coming, man. Yep. And brothers, hey, brothers going to have to go through it, man. We're going to be like pilgrims upon the earth. I read that one earlier. Let's read this one. It says, 2nd Edger 16 and 68 through 69, it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And yeah, these, these, these small hats, you know, that are controlling everything, they're, they're making plans, man. That's why you see all types of caskets popping up, all types of empty Walmarts and empty this, just out in the middle of nowhere. You know, all these huge bunkers, you know, you can fit 1,800 semis in them. They semis driving through. They don't know where the hell they lead to. They don't know what's going on. They've been preparing, man, for a great slaughter. Okay. But like the book of Job say, whenever he's about to fill his belly, see, he going he to gonna, he gonna get a lot of this thing off, man. And he going to get a lot of his plans off the ground. But when he's about to fill his belly, the Lord going to destroy him, man. It says, for a burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered on the idol. They're going to give you them chips. And they that consent unto them, shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Yeah, you, you can send it on to them, man. They that can send on to them shall be had in derision, man. And we know what that word consent means. Let's look up derision. Derision. Contemptuous ridicule or mockery. Yeah, see? You're going to be mocked, man. Okay, 
You're going to think that, oh, I get, I, I'm going to get me some food for me and my kids, but then they're going to have your ass in there. They're going to be doing whatever to your kids. The Lord going to let them do whatever to you, man. And you're going to receive a grievous sore. So, yeah, man. Because you refuse to hearken unto the voice of the Lord, man. Okay. This is 2nd Edges 16 and 70 through 73. It says, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like ma madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Those that ain't taking those chips, man. They're going to come after us, man. All right? And your family members and stuff like that, they're going to give your ass up because they, they want to take the chip. Okay? They want to be comfortable. It says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. That's right, man. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire, man. That's right, man. That's right, man. Things are going to happen, man. The Lord's going to stand up for his men. All right? We might have to be pilgrims out there, but guess what? It's going to be all right, man. Yep. We ain't going to be, yep, this is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should get advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of this microchip. We're not ignorant of things like, you know, uh, uh, you know, different articles popping up, you know, end times headlines, NFL rolling out, facial authentication. We're not ignorant of these things. We're not ignorant when we see uh, videos uh, talking about Tesla and, you know, how Elon Musk is making them work 12 hours a day and they barely get no sleep. And, you know, they're trying to bring this thing in, man. They're trying to bring this thing in. We're not ignorant of these things, man. We, we constantly watching, constantly watching what the Lord is doing, man, and constantly observing, man. Constantly staying on point, Lord willing. And to, and, and, and to show our people, man. That's why the book of, uh, matter of fact, let me read one more scripture and then I'll close off real quick. Yeah, this is the book of uh, yeah Habakkuk, man. Habakkuk 2 and 1, and I will stand up on my watch. And I will watch to see. And I will stand up on my watch and set me up on a tower. See, a tower is a high place. You can see who's coming, who's going. We standing up on that tower, man. Okay? We can see the prophecies coming. We can see how close they are. By paying attention, paying attention to the signs, man. Okay, paying attention to what's going on. That way we can warn the people. All right, this is coming. That's coming. That's coming. We're standing on that high tower, man. All right, and Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. Okay, and I will watch to see what He will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. That's right, man. The Lord said, uh, uh, you know, warn them from me. That's what I just read in the book of uh, Ezekiel, pretty much. You know, you got to give them warning because if you don't warn them, then that blood's going to be on our hands, man. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. This is very plain, man. The elders been speaking about it for years and years and years and years, man. It's all very plain, all very plain what the MLTB is. And write it plain upon tables, make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Okay. Let me get that word run real quick. I don't know if I looked that up yet. That he may run. Plain upon tables that he may run. The Hebrew word. Strong's age, 7323. Uh, uh, roots, roots. To run, to run, runners, participle, and sub. Uh, let me see, run swiftly. Yeah, run swiftly to bring or move quickly. Yeah. Hurry, to hurry, to hurry up where? Uh, under that shadow up of the, uh, under the shadow of the Almighty, man. You better hurry your butt up, man. To drive away from, cause to run away. Run, man. Yeah. 
to run, to break down, divide speedily, footmen, guard. Bring hastily, make run away through post. Yeah, to make run up under the, the, the shadow of the Lord, man. Haste ye to flee, uh, for this is not your arrest, man. Haste ye to flee from this place. Yeah, man. So, it says, uh, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. That vision, okay? The prophecies. The prophecies are speaking. This is the end. It shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Yeah. See? Everything is happening, man. Anyway, with that, I like to say shalom.